How many times over the past month have you wanted to take some words back? Or maybe you responded or reacted to someone in a way that you weren't proud of? I know I've had many. In fact, I had one this morning, but that's okay. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And the beautiful thing is that we can all make up for our mistakes and move forward and grow and, and learn to communicate more effectively and to practice empathy and compassion. In this video, we're gonna talk about difficult communication, stressful events, and how we can learn to handle those better, to be more helpful to those around us, and also to increase our capacity for well-being. My name's Mike, I'm the founder of Starts With Me, a consultancy specializing in K-12 education and workplace mental health. Part of communication is learning how to take responsibility for your part in it, and how not to blame the other person. We start to do that by using I statement. I think what you did was inappropriate. That made me feel angry. And I would hope next time that it can go this way. Or maybe we can discuss how to do a better job next time so that we can both get the outcome we're looking for. Another way to have more effective communication styles is to practice self-awareness. So if you didn't watch the first video, I encourage you to do that because that helps us understand when our emotions are becoming dysregulated and it helps us tune in and practice calming down our nervous system so that we can have more effective communication with people. If we've had a bad interaction and we want to make up for it and apologize, then we really need to own our part in it and own our behavior. I am sorry for how I handled that. I will do this next time so that it doesn't happen again. If we know we're about to have a difficult conversation with someone and it's really making us anxious or nervous, one thing that can be really helpful is to set an intention. So prior to having this difficult conversation, you want to set the intention to be patient or empathetic or kind or understanding prior to going towards it. And if you can frame it in that sense, it really helps manage or at least put yourself in a position that's going to be more conducive to having a positive interaction. Nobody likes being told what to do or what to think or how they're feeling. So on the other side of the I statement practice, when we see somebody else who's stressed out or we're concerned about them or they're clearly angry, when we approach them or if we're engaged in conversation, we want to say, to me, it looks like you're having a hard time. Is that true? Or, wow, from my perspective, it looks like that must be really difficult. Is that true? I'm here to help you if you would like help. We're not telling the person how they feel. We're not telling them what to think or what to do. We are owning our perspective of the situation and we're offering support. If they say no, they don't want help, then it's our responsibility to give them space and respect their boundaries and maybe when they're ready they'll come and talk. If that happens and you're still concerned you can always check back in with the person. But it's really important to ask questions, get validation and not bother people if they don't want to be bothered. A lot of times somebody will be bothering us for something that really has nothing to do with us. Oftentimes people's reactions or the way they handle things is really due to underlying circumstances that are not have nothing to do with our current situation. So try to remember that as well. One thing that I have found to be really helpful is to take timeouts. So if I know I'm about to say something really mean or behave in a way that's just not, that I'm not going to be proud of and I'll have to apologize for, I say, you know what? I need a little timeout. I got to go calm myself down and then I can return, set that intention and be back uh, so that I can be of more service to this person and, and achieve the outcome that's good for both of us. So to reiterate, we really wanna practice using I statements. I think, I feel, I would like. Is that okay with you? Or if we are approaching somebody, to me, it looks like you might be having a hard time. Is that true? So we wanna check in with them, we wanna get their validation and we want to make sure we're not making assumptions. That allows space. That allows the person to feel that you're actually paying attention to them and not just out to give them a hard time. It also allows them space to soothe their nervous system and to calm down because we all know when we're worked up, thinking clearly, being kind, 
and choosing the right words can be really difficult. So my invitation to you this week is to practice using I statements to ask people for clarification if you're concerned about them and to not make assumptions when having difficult conversations. Right. Hopefully by improving our ability to communicate and express ourselves, we can help ease the collective angst that's going on right now. And even as we come out of this, we'll be better equipped to make better decisions, to have more effective communication, and ultimately create a better and healthier world because I think we all want that and we all need that. All right, take care. Peace out. Be well.